to be Haven. Be Haven. <laughs> Chris, uh, on the screen, put uh, put a picture of a put a picture of a bee. Mm -hmm. Put a plus sign. Mm -hmm. Put like a cute little well-behaved boy. Uh, specific. And then equals, and then just put a picture of Crash's face. That is the story of what behaving. The trivia. That's your trivia. Trivia. <laughs> trivia. That's what the the level is named off of. Named off of. Great. A bee plus a little well-behaved boy. I see. Behaving. Behaving. And it's a haven for bees. Get it? Oh, that makes more sense to me. It's a haven for bees, but it's a pun on the phrase behaving. Behaving. Beehive. I swear to God, we did this level. In any non-retail- there's, there's two levels that look the exact same. Oh, with the digging, okay. This is one of two. So apparently this- this level's called behaving. But in non-retail versions of the game, for some reason, it's called behaving. Woo! So can you- Ah, fuck. So can you just touch those, but you can't jump on them? No. Typically you're not supposed to. You can't, like, walk up to it and touch it? Oh, here we go. Oh my god. This, uh, this game, this level had the same deal as, um, Digging It. Uh-huh. Where, at one point, the soil was gray instead of, like, the purple that it is now. Oh my god, god damn it. It's alright, you're doing alright. Get up, I need to go. I NEED TO GO! <laughs> Died. Oh my god, he's allergic! Holy shit. God damn it, I felt s that was so frustrating. The nitro scares the sti- Okay, so, the Fuck. night there's a staircase made of nitros that are fake. Yeah. That's scary. They're a portal, I believe. In this level? Uh, this is the only level in the game that has more nitro crates than basic crates. Pretty fucked. Uh, also, some trivia just for this version of the game. The uh, Insane Trilogy version, the platform at the end of the secret path is a bonus platform and not the plain X-shaped platform, which was otherwise used throughout the game. Uh, just like that. Same thing with the platform at the remake of Sphinxinator. It's just, like, different than it was in the old game. Also, two iron crates in the bonus round were changed to nitro crates, raising the breakable crate count from 92 to 94, uh, which is so that if you hit the nitro crates and lose an Aku mask, you have to climb three iron crates, not four, and then you won't be trapped. Feel me? Yeah. So they changed just a few little things. That dude just has to be a, a, like a total reference to, Mar to Mario. At this point, probably. It's so weird, right? Need to go, need to go! <laughs> There's also echidnas in this game, because- There's the fake, uh, Nitro. They're fake? That is so dirty. It's a- it's a... Bonus area. I know, it's just still- it's so dirty. There's also an enemy called a Chlamydosaur. <laughs> in this game. It should never be called that. Purple Gem! The Cyborg Chlamydosaur. Are those- are those, like, like, frill lizards. There's gotta be, like, a better reason why it's oh, called that. Oh, no! I don't know why you would ever call anything Clem a chlamydosaur. What's, what's the Latin for chlamyd? I, the I, question is, are there any crates in there? That's what I need to know right now. Where? In the- in the purple gem room. Are there Because if not, in the purple- yeah, in the pur it is purple gem, yeah. Dude, why am I getting, like, congratulations fake iPhone ads on the fucking wiki site, man? It's like, I can't- I have to, like, go- I have to leave the site now. So, Chlamydosauro is just actually what those frill lizards are called in Latin. Chlamydosaurs? Uh, yeah, it's like, Chlamydosario. Yeah, but in Latin. English- Chlamydosario! Chlamydosario burns his way into Smash! Chlamydosario! Chlamydosario! <laughs> Players will encounter a staircase, but they don't actually make the player lose a life. Warp player to a secret route. The secret path is quite dangerous. Route is compact. However, the purple gem is oddly situated early on the route, and the route has no crates. Meaning the player can die and retain the purple gem, and thus avoid trans traversing the entire route. Great. Well, we're too late for that, so here we go. But you already got the gem, right? Oh, yeah. So then sure. you're good. Uh -huh. So you could just die. I don't want to die at this point. I'd like to try and... ...survive a bit. What? I think since I'm doing this already, I'm saying I might as well just get through it. If you want. I mean, you just it's just you already have the gem, so it doesn't matter. Like, I don't care. If you want to beat it, just beat it. We're, we're gamers. I get it. You got a bust of that box back there? 
The only thing that God didn't give to turtles. Two fucking saw blades. On the fucking top. Yo! You did it! Clean. Clean bean. What if it takes me to the bonus room? Congratulations, Crash. Crash-gratulations. Wait, do I go back, you think? Um, the clear gem is simple and straightforward to obtain, unlike the other B-level digging it. Seems alright. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. In Japan, this level's called Dive Crash. Because of how he goes in the ground. Yeah. It's a little something for <sighs> you. I fucked up. Something for you. Would you fuck up? I went backwards instead of forwards because I thought that. I think you're good though. Oh, like, did you see that? It's oh. like frame perfect. No, my like thing... my sprite was out of the floor. Yeah. But you were like actually still on the floor. Yeah. I don't know how you're gonna get this many crates still on this level, but maybe maybe it's just gonna happen. Well, remember, as if you recall, most of these crates are oh, nitro. Oh, they're like all nitro, that's right. Clean. Beehive, no big deal. Woo! It's bullshit that the bees aren't affected by electricity, don't you think? Oh! Because in real life, they would totally be affected by electricity. They sure would, Bob. They sure would, Bob. Dude, we're crushing it right now. We're pretty good so far. We're making this level our bitch. The only level we haven't done still is that one in the beginning where there's like a switch or something to the left side. We'll still get it. I mean, like, I'm not worried. Clean. Clean as fuck. Here we go. Damn, running, we running. got apples for fucking days over Let's here. Let's go. Oh boy. Clean. Purple gem. Get. <laughs> clean. 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 You're doing some good, like, Michael Winslow-esque Crash Bandicoot sound effects. We have to run our asses off because we can't... We're being pursued by the beeps. <laughs> the bleeps. No, my butt. And the creeps. That was the end of the level. It's fine. You're right there. It's fine. It's fine. You're right here. How tragic. How tragic. You're just right the fuck here. Right? I'm not misunderstanding where we are, right? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Who made that? Who had the time? That might be my, fa my favorite death animation in the game. You just low-key turn into a fucking tombstone? You're just like, you dead. You dead, badge. What if Crash turned into a casting list for Rush Hour 3? That he was not on. Spyro's on the list. Jack and Daxter are on the list. Drake's on the list. Drake? Yeah, Joel and Ellie made it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Not gonna make it in Rush Hour 3. There's your boy! The test. Fuck Done yes. did. Fuck yes. Terminated. Give me that bean. Terminated. Damn, good job, Gerard. Terminated. Guys, we only have six levels left. Fuck yeah. You have six levels and a boss. Two bosses. Three bosses. Ain't misbehaving. Get it? Ain't misbehaving, ain't, bacon. Sorry, ain't, ain't misbehaving. Ain't misbehaving, bacon. Ain't misbehaving, my man, Kevin Bacon. Crash. Crash. <laughs> Yeah. Is being mastermind by Dr. Nitrous Brio, the inventor of the The best part about the Crash trilogy, honestly, is that it lets kids have a, not only a new perspective, he forced me Crash. to assist um, him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. Not a new perspective, but like it it lets kids way. have Beyond a cute God, icon. Crash. 
that's you mean like, like you're just game. happy to see a mascot back? Yeah. I'm, oh, a mask. Oh, between Spyro and and uh, Crash, I'm very excited. Doctor Engine, here we go. What do you think about? What do you think about Mario? Do you think Mario fills that gap for people still? Right, but the thing about Mario versus the others that make this a bit different is that nowadays, and this is like how old I'm dating myself, I feel like Nintendo, like kids in school may be bullied about having a Nintendo. It's like, oh, you don't have an Xbox One? You have a fucking Nintendo, you piece of shit? Yeah, but you know what? Those bullies are stupid because we got the best games. Yeah, they're fucking dumb. Yeah. Hey, you at home, think about your bully. Okay. Tell him that Gerard, the completion says to suck a dick. Pic picture, Ooh. picture the bully. Picture your bully's face. Yeah. Picture a piece of poop going in one of your bully's nostrils. Ooh, gross. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. He's stupid. Oh, I forgot. I have fruit. You're a fruit boy. You're a fruity boy. I forgot about this entire mechanic. You're a fruit boy, Harry. So Engine was a classmate of Dr. Cortex and Brio mm -hmm. in Madame Amberley's Academy of Evil. Mm -hmm. And then he worked at a stapler factory for a while. That'll do it. And then he factory? became a world-renowned physicist in the defense industry. But then he got a budget cut, and so one of his missiles fucked up, and it shot at his fucking head, and now it's stuck in his head. And it's and Man, it's live. So the lore makes so much more sense now. And yeah, and the missile's live, so every time he gets stressed, it's like dangerous. I see. Oh, boy, uh, here we go. Apparently, uh, Jason Rubin, who is the creator of, of the Rubin sandwich, he's the creator. He's the creator the of Naughty Dog, um, and Jack and Daxter and Crash Bandicoot. He was the president of THQ before it closed. He works at Oculus now, but uh, he, Dr. Engine is based off of Jason Rubin's own like migraines that he used to have all the time. Oh, that's sad. Isn't that funny? It's like one of the villains is like headaches. Uh, Engine was taken in by Neocortex to replace the Double Cross Nitrous Brio. Is that what his name is, Brio? Yeah. What a weird name. It's a weird boss fight too. It's not going great right now for me. You're just supposed to like bust his little thingies. Yeah. Trying to find some trivia for you guys. He held the record for the most hit points in a boss battle for the boss fight in Crash 2. So this one right here that we're doing right yeah. now? Yeah. Until 3 came out where he has 12, but he has 5 hits in this. Oh, fuck. And, uh, in this game and before, his name is spelled N. Jin. Like it is there in the, uh, yeah. thing. But in other games, it's N dash Jin for some reason. Interesting. Sounds like someone didn't check the spelling. Yeah, but then apparently Radical changed it back eventually. Pretty weird. All right, here we go. This is actually kind of hard. The name Engine is a pun on the word engine. Like an engine. Yep, probably okay. a reference to the fact that he creates things according to the Crash Wikipedia. I see. Pretty good. For some reason, in Crash Bandicoot, the huge adventure, he had Tiny Steam instead. Pretty good. Beat it. Engine also appeared at Crash's birthday, even though they're enemies. Pretty weird. So Mario, sh Mario and Bowser, or Bowser goes to fucking Mario parties and shit. I think, I think Bowser and and Mario are friends. I think Bowser and Mario are like Professor X and sure. Magneto. Sure, I can get behind that. He's like, no, Bowser. The people want to have a free will. And Bowser's like, wow. <laughs> He's like, okay, you always say that. <laughs> you said that last time, you, you bitch. You always say that. He's like, let's settle it and smash. He's like, shut up, Bowser. I'm about you, Bowser. He's All like, right, we got. On, on last, this is the last area, guys. We got pack attack, pack attack, night fight, rocket, piston away, piston, piston it, it away. away, pissing it away is yeah. a real pissing it away. <gasps> piston yeah. it away. Also, you're killing this game, Gerard. Holy shit. What is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask piston you again it to away. As in pissing it away, but it's Obtain a piston. Mm -hmm. I'm just it's crazy to me that there's a there's a level based on piss. Piss! <laughs> there's a level based on piss. There are no multi-numbered wumpa fruit crates in this level. Okay. Yeah. 
In the beta version, you can't get two of the gems in the level except with cheats because there's a coding error. This level at one point was called Dynamo instead of Piston It Away. To play on the phrase Pissing It Away in reference to the sheer amount of lives that the average player will lose on this level. Apparently it's hard. Great. If Crash gets hit by the Shrink Ray without an Aku Aku mask, uh, he will shrink before dying and can even die a second time if you get hit by an enemy. But you'll still only lose one life. Ooh, okay, here we go. Even this level's bonus round embodies the spirit of backtracking, requiring the player to leave enough boxes intact to allow them to backtracking after activating an exclamation point crate. So be aware of that. In the bonus level? Yes. You have to leave boxes for yourself to get back. Okay. Ew, what are the, like, tubies? What the fuck is that? Alright, checkpoint, get. Ah, uh, this is where it starts to... Yeah, there we go. Going pretty good. Slide. Slide. Hit. There we go. Two birds. Boxes for... Boxes for us. These last few stages are fairly difficult, so it's we right. really take our time with them. It's alright. We're gamers. We've been around the block. We gaming. We out here gaming. You know, I haven't got to this bonus stage yet. I'm a little anxious about it. You were anxious about the bonus stage? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a death stage, that's why. Yeah. Okay. But you did fine, you made it. It's all good. Don't fuck with matter. Here we go. Okay. Crushing it. Crushing it. Do we have to backtrack? You just need to leave space for yourself in the bonus level, I believe, because you're gonna have to, like, jump one way and then go back. And it's gonna be one of those things where, like... It's gonna be one of those things where, like, you know, you need to bounce. Sure. So you won't be able to get back unless you have boxes to bounce on, that type of thing. I see. Okay. Checkpoint. Here we go. I'm sure it'll make sense when we see it. Almost died right there. But you didn't. And you're just picking up life after life like a fucking G. Whoa. Clean, God. clean, clean. Fuck yeah. Keep it tight, baby. Shit. Do what the it? fuck? The end of the stage is this? So we're still missing. Like, I have to go as... beat the whole stage, then turn around. Right now? No, I can't. But well, we got I most was... of it done. I got this. I got this. The second gem. Yeah, but, we got uh, most I of it was done. supposed to beat that whole stage forward and then come back. That's to all right. It. Next time on Beard Bros, we'll go back. We'll get it. No big, be no, no, yeah, be, no we'll, big deal. We'll, we'll start the episode after I've gotten all the gem back to that checkpoint, basically. Yeah, we'll cool. see you guys. We'll see you see guys, guys in a sec. Speech. Bye. Oh baby, Beard Bros. big underwater Gucci, big wet Gucci. I'm Gerard. I'm, I'm Gerard, and I'm Alex. And I'm, I'm Alex. Frog in a car. You did it. Great it's cucumber. What's good? What's good? Yes. Did you really do this? I did. Oh. My voice takes the time. Next time on Beard Bros.